also think that they are going to be adding a royal trio of brawlers into the game. Maybe a princess, very likely a knight, maybe even possibly a magician. And some of this evidence does suggest that Brawl Stars might actually make somebody in the community into a brawler simply based off of the fact that fake Kairos was insistent on telling us Next chromatic brawler is Ash, the trash knight. On a brawl season, you will find Princess Shelly at the first year. And the last Fatal skin, Wizard Byron, which will be available for purchase for 25,000 star points. At As for the water park, I think that Season 7's Brawl Pass will be themed after summer, and then we'll get several summer-themed skins to match like Whale So from the combination of dinosaurs and summer, we present to you Bus. Or maybe we'll actually finally see Gil put into the game. After all, Gil was alongside Colonel Ruffs as one of the most fleshed out Project Laser Brawlers. Brawler of the season. She's an outlaw who likes to rob banks in any town she can find. And she's a sharpshooter and with her main attack, she attacks the target and the projectile keeps bouncing back and forth among the enemies. And, and I think it is an absolute no brainer that we are going to be getting a space environment a return of the Dog General that was a concept brawler back when Brawl Stars was a space. Welcome to Season 5, Star Force. Colonel Ruffs is the colonel of the Star Force spaceship. He is a master strategist, our newest chromatic brawler, and a dog. This has me thinking that the next update is going to be all about the mystic theme, right? I don't know what it's going to be called. It's going to be pyramids. There's going to be like cool buildings and stuff. We already got a hint of it in this Brawl Stars animation, right? Now, I've already talked about this theme before, so I'm not going to go into the details, but I would not be surprised to see some skins for brawlers that fit like Terra's jeans and Sandy's theme. If you ask me, it's about time. I'm thinking of a brawler named Bolt, who would be a robot guardian. Now, I'm more actually imagining a brawler that is more similar to like Barley or Ricochet, but like a tanky armored version of them. Now, Bolt would be a rare brawler. Um, his HP would be highest. Now, where this is gonna be interesting, unlike El Primo and Frank, who actually have an above average move speed, I think he should have a below average move speed, 50 less than normal. Now, for his attack, he would actually have a ranged attack, uh, which I think is justified due to the fact that he is actually so slow. So the new brawler is called 8-Bit and he's super tanky. He's uh, quite slow, wouldn't you say? Super slow, I think he's the slowest brawler ever. He's by far the slowest <laughs> brawler. He's got feet made of cement or I don't know what <laughs> arcade machines are made of. Anything. I think we're guaranteed to get more superhero brawlers like Max. Like, I've read Supercell's mind, like it's gonna happen. That brings up to my first suggested brawler, and that is going to be Rosa, a support brawler, starting at 4,000 trophies as a starter brawler that you get from those trophy league rewards. Her super, what makes her special, is that she would spin and twirl as she dances, which boosts morale of teammates that are within a radius of around her for a short period of time. Maybe like a six or seven tile radius for three to five seconds. She and teammates within that radius would gain a 5% buff to their movement speed. Super attack is really, really special. She drops this little radius that speeds up all friendly brawlers around. Thinking of a brawler that has like a middle range of HP that, you know, attacks with her legs in a relatively short range, kind of similar to how like BB attacks. I don't know. I know it's not super original, but that's that's my best guess here. I, my guess is that she would have less HP than BB. But, and for a super, I'm guessing that it would be called Leap where she like leaps into the air and it would allow her to bounce around the map, dealing damage to anybody that she lands. He's an edgy teenager who works together with Colette in the gift shop. He's a fast melee brawler who attacks with his scarf, but he has pretty low health, which is why he also heals when he attacks. His super makes him leap over obstacles to get close up to his prey. So you can wait and see for the best moment and then leap on your tongue. One of the sea creatures and that that creature is the monster that appeared in the city. It does not look like a crab at all, which is why I think that the monster is something else. There is a possibility that this giant monster is related to some sort of a special event that we might be getting in the next update, like, you know, the weekend special events. Monsters wouldn't be complete without a new game mode. We present to you Super City Rampage, 
So now we are having three bosses against another boss. And this boss is a big monster that wants to destroy the city. A ramp up brawler. A ramp up brawler is one that starts out very weak, like the weakest in the game. But as the match progresses, they become stronger and stronger to become super strong by the end of the match. The idea would be that Gil has three gadget uses. Every time Gil uses his gadget, he becomes slightly faster and slightly tankier. Now with that third use, Gil would be as fast as Max or Crow. I've also toyed with the idea that the shape of his attacks might actually change as well. We've got a brand new chromatic brawler for you called Surge, and he's maybe one of the most unique brawlers we've ever made. And his super is really interesting every time you use Surge's super he upgrades himself and his attacks become different and he becomes stronger you can do that a maximum of three times but if you're defeated you lose all those upgrades so stay alive time has progressed brawl stars has put more and more hints into the game that suggest that brawl stars isn't just different environments arranged like a theme park but that brawl stars is a theme park My next idea, I've got a way to kind of offset that. Idea number six is I would like a way for you to actually spend gold on things in game other than brawler upgrades. Coming in this update, we've got true silver and true gold skins for the very coin rich players. True silver is gonna cost 10,000 coins and true gold costs 25,000. But if you want that gold skin, you've gotta buy the silver one first. <gasps> Old game modes. I'm talking about Takedown, Lone Star, Present Plunder, Hot Zone, Life Leech. All of these are game modes that we've gotten in the past but are no longer playable. They're planning on releasing one of those game modes with some tweaks to make it a little bit better and hopefully a permanent one eventually. And also, Hot Zone is here to stay. You guys have been asking, Hot Zone is going into the rotation with maps and new quests. Present Plunder is back! Also, Graveyard Shift is getting back, so OG players will be happy to know that Life Leech is returning. We'll go ahead and move on to number four. And I, I think sometime later in 2020, we will get new abilities for every brawler in the game. Okay, I'm not just talking about third star powers, I'm talking about something that will change the core gameplay for the game to make it more complex. Gadgets are a unique ability that are coming to every brawler in the game. Gadget idea is Snake Trap. Bo can instantly blow any mines on the field up by using this gadget. This would be used to instantly deal damage to anyone trying to disarm the traps or to deal damage to objects like walls, safes, or turrets. Next is Barley with Bottoms Up. Barley throws a delicious drink to any friendly teammates within range and heals them for 1,500 health as soon as it hits them. Brock fires a guided missile that is guaranteed to hit its target for 2,500 damage. Colt's gadget idea is Big Bullet. Colt loads a big bullet into his gun that can deal all the damage from six regular bullets in one shot. Now Colt's next attack will use the big bullet rather than his six small bullets so that he can aim it where he wants to. Next is Jesse's gadget idea, Overcharge. When activated, Scrappy's firing speed doubles for five seconds, which obviously is going to cause some serious pain for anyone who doesn't try to dodge the shots.